Hey guys, good morning. It is Arika Misha and it is Saturday morning and of course uh, you guys know by now every Saturday I cook breakfast for the girls unless I'm out early morning couponing. Um, but it is Saturday and I am cooking breakfast for the girls. Just wanted to show you guys what's on the menu today. Um, I have hash browns, um, I have bacon, and I have turkey sausage patties, the circle uh, patties. You guys have seen these in my hall, my public halls. And let me see. Also, I have the sausage links. And I have Publix jumbo eggs, of course. I love these eggs. And I have the Crustes, Crustes light fluffy buttermilk pancake mix where you just add water. And you guys know my philosophy in the kitchen, get in and get out. So, um, yeah, this is what's on the breakfast menu this morning, guys. Just wanted to let you know what was on the menu. And I will be back. I am getting ready to start cooking. And I am bringing you guys along. I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys. I am back getting ready to get the eggs prepped uh, and scrambled. So, I just have a dozen of the Publix eggs like I showed you. Um, and I'm just going to crack them and put them on my little glass bowl here and I am gonna cook the um, <clears throat> I am gonna cook the entire uh, dozen of eggs um, I usually cook uh, the um, dozen of eggs that way you know so the girls have <clears throat> excuse me sorry so the girls have leftovers um, you know extras like through the week if they want to just heat up some eggs they'll have some so I always cook um, extra eggs that way the girls have some extra through the week or you know if I want to have a little you know something through the week we have extra eggs so I am gonna do the entire 12 eggs and to my eggs I just add a little salt and a little milk and of course you can you know add all that other fancy stuff that's true but you guys have to remember I'm cooking for my kids I know what they like and what they don't like so when you see me cook you see I'm cooking for my family I'm cooking for what you know my kids like what they don't like you know what I like what I don't like so if you don't see me putting certain ingredients in that's because you know I'm cooking for my family, so somebody may not like that. There may be some things that I don't like, so like I said, just showing you guys how I do it. Sprinkle a little salt in my eggs, and I add my milk to the center of my eggs. Don't want to add too much milk because that'll make your eggs watery. You don't want to do that. So what I do is I normally just pour it in the middle of the eggs until I have a little small mini circle as you guys see here and then that's enough eggs that lets me know that's enough eggs I'm, I'm sorry enough milk so don't want to over milk the eggs and they'll be too milky and they won't cook right and I just mix, mix, mix them up with a fork I like mixing my eggs with a fork. All that fancy uh, mixing stuff, I have it. My daughter uses it sometimes. But me, I am old school. I like using a fork, getting it done. And you don't overbeat, you ain't gotta overbeat your eggs. You know when they're mixed. Because I've got a whole dozen, so I definitely gotta make sure they're all mixed. But yeah, that's it. The eggs are ready. And if you guys have seen my previous, if you haven't seen my previous cooking breakfast uh, for the girls video, make sure you go and watch that too. Like I said, I'm always in the kitchen, so I might as well record it. So you guys are gonna get a lot of cooking videos because I'm always in the kitchen cooking, so. 
All right, and our eggs are ready. They are ready. This is our eggs, guys. They are nice and ready. Okay, and I will be back when it's time to get them fried. Okay guys, we are back and I am getting ready to get these eggs fried or scrambled. And I put a little butter in my pan this time, just a little butter. My old faithful, I can't believe it's not butter. I love that butter, it's the only butter I use. And you guys know my stove takes no time getting hot. It gets hot quickly. So we've got that going. Let me go ahead and get some eggs in. Let it get a little hotter. You don't want your butter to burn. But I do want to hear it bubbling up a little bit. And I'll pour some eggs in. I'm not going to pour all these eggs in. Just gonna pour half of them because remember I've got a full dozen of eggs, so I'm not gonna pour them all in. That'll just be too many eggs trying to cook at once. And let me find my parsley. Cause you guys know, gotta have my parsley. Got this parsley from the Dollar Tree, guys. I always put parsley in everything when I cook. And my stove is at a medium heat. I don't cook my eggs on high. You, you don't want them to have that burnt taste. Throw a little parsley in there, guys. And I just use my spatula and I just flip them around. I don't scramble them, I just flip them around. That way, your eggs stay fluffy. And they don't look all scrambled and broken up. So yeah, just toss them around. Try to keep the eggs off the side. I hate those side eggs. And of course, I am using my old faithful Gotham Steel frying pan. Mostly all my cookware is Gotham. I love the company. I love the brand. It's an old school brand, but it's good. Gotham has been around forever, so, but it's good. Good quality um, cookware. Toss it around, and the parsley, of course, it gives your eggs a little, you know, gives it gives it something extra, makes it looks, look a little fancy. So, I put parsley in everything. Not scrambling my eggs. See, I'm just flipping them around with my spatula. Flipping them around. And because you put that milk in them, they get all nice and fat and fluffy. Look at that. Look at that big chunk of egg. Let me show you guys. Look at that big chunk of egg. Because you put that milk in there. So now what I do, now that my eggs are where they need to be, all cooked, I hate these little side pieces, I always take that out, but I let them sit, I let them sit for a minute, so they can get brown on that other side over there, get nice and brown. Doesn't take long for them to get brown over there, you'll see. Get you guys turn so you can see. And see, look, I just flip them over and look how nice and brown they are. You just take your spatula, flip them over. You got nice brown eggs on that side. Nice golden brown eggs and I just flip them back over on the other side. Let me show you guys that. Look at that nice brown egg. Look at that. Beautiful. And you give it another minute 
uh, maybe like 30 seconds. It doesn't take long. And the other side will brown the same way. Yep. Nice and brown on the other side. And I will just move them over here to the plate. Okay. Let me get the rest of the eggs in the pan. Huh? All right. Let me see. And this is the other half of my eggs. Get that in the pan. And I'll go ahead and get these scrambled up, guys, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I just got through with the second batch of eggs. And as you can see, let me show you how nice and thick and chunky that is. Nice and brown and toasted that is. That's from adding that milk. Some people add butter. Sometimes I add butter. Add butter to the pan, you know, when I cook them. Um, but I usually, I always add milk to my eggs. Always. A little trick I learned years ago. Get these eggs done. And now that I've got the eggs done, we will move on to our hash browns. And I will be cooking the hash browns in the air fryer because, like I tell you guys, my philosophy, get in and get out. Get in and out of the kitchen. So, I ain't got all day to be in the kitchen. So, and voila. Our eggs are all done, nice and golden. And you know what, let me pick you guys up. Give you guys a close look at those eggs. Nice and hot, nice and golden brown eggs. See, I want that little toast. You want that little golden brown on them. They taste so good. Give them a little toast, give them a little brown. And you see your parsley nice big chunky eggs and you know what if you don't like your eggs big and chunky like this you can always just cut them up with your fork but yeah get those eggs nice and chunky eggs nice take you guys in for another close shot see that nice brown toast i i love that on my eggs tastes so good Okay guys, let's get moving on to these hash browns. Okay guys, I am back getting ready to cook the hash browns. And I am going to put the hash browns in the air fryer. Quick and easy, in and out. So, let's get our hash browns. And this is how I'm gonna lay them in the air fryer. Let's see if I can lay them this way and get more. Yep, I'll lay them that way. Yep, lay them that way I can get more in there okay I got five in the air fryer I've sprayed the bottom of my um, air frying pan with a little pan cooking oil here it is this is what I use my favorite Publix canola cooking spray and this is the eight ounce can canola oil it's like a little canola oil in the spray I always use canola oil even when I fry I always use canola oil. So, I sprayed the bottom of my pan. Oh boy. Alright, and I'm going to spray these guys across the top to help them get brown and crispy and cook. And I've lined my um, air fryer with aluminum foil like I always do. I always line my air fryer with aluminum foil to cut down on the cleaning and all that. In and out, guys. And let's set this... You know, I'm going to leave it at 360 
Am I gonna leave it at 15 minutes? Nope, way too much time. Uh, let's put it on, you know what, let's put it on 10 because it's gonna take about, you know, two, three minutes to get all nice and hot in there. So we have to consider that <laughs> in our time. So uh, they should be done in like five minutes, but we'll check in on them. I'll come back guys when I'm checking in on the hash browns so we can see how those are coming along so we can see how much more time we're gonna need to put on them. And we'll be back guys. Okay guys, I am back and while the um, hash browns are in the air fryer going, I am over here mixing up our buttermilk pancake milk mix. Buttermilk pancake mix. Tongue twister there. And I was just looking at the instructions on the back and it gave me for the 18 to 21 count three cups of the mix and two cups of cold water so i've already done that here and of course when i cook my pancakes they're you know larger pancakes they're not small pancakes so that's why i always go for the maximum um when i cook them so because I make large pancakes for me and the girls. I don't make the little small ones. Sometimes I make the coin ones for them. The girls like the coin ones. So I'm going to go ahead and get this mixed up, guys. And you know what? Sometimes I add flavors to them. Like I'll add, I have like banana flavoring. Um, I add banana flavoring. So it's like banana pancakes sometimes. Strawberry. You can get different flavors, you know, and add them to your pancakes. Just to give your pancakes, you know, an extra taste, extra flavor. So... Sometimes I do that for the girls too. So I'll go ahead and get this pancake mix uh, mixed up. And by that time, I'm hoping the hash browns will be done. And then I can get to frying these pancakes. Um, but after the hash browns are done, I'm going to get the sausages in the um, air fryer. And then our bacon. So all of that will be going on with the air fryer. In the meantime, I'll be frying pancakes. Doing it all at once, guys. Get in and get out. <laughs> all right, I'll be back, guys. Okay guys, timer went off on the air fryer. I just came over here to check on the hash browns. And as you can see, they are a nice golden brown. I'm just gonna go ahead and, um, as you can see, zooming you guys in there. Uh, they're nice and golden brown. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and um, flip them over, of course, so the other side can brown. Nothing fancy. I just take my hands, flip them over. Hot, hot, hot. You know what? Nothing fancy. Just flipping them over with my hands. Being careful. Because this air fryer, it gets hot. So we got to be careful. I'm a pro. I've been using this air fryer for years. So I know what I'm doing. So anyway, we're going to put them back in. You know, so the other side can brown. Okay. And I'm gonna put them back on 360. And you know what? I'm just gonna do like, mm, I'll do five minutes. Cause that other side just needs to brown. So be back to check on those. They should be done by the time we come back. Okay guys, and as you can see, our timer is getting ready to go off on the hash browns. So I will go ahead and wait for that. Should be going off any second now. Um, and by the time this time it goes off, the hash brown should be nice and brown on the other side. We'll go ahead and get those out and let's get these breakfast sausages. Let's get those all in. And there's our timer. Oh, yeah. Hey, let me take you guys in. Yes, look at them. The hash browns are nice and golden brown. Look at that. Nice. Golden brown. They are ready. They are golden brown on both sides, guys. Get you guys out. Let's go ahead and get these out. Nice and hot. And I've got my plate here with napkins over it, you know, to take some of that oil off. So, oh yeah, guys. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Yes. Nice. Yep, that's hot. You guys are right. That is hot in my hand. It is hot. Hot, hot. Go ahead and place those guys down here. Put those guys on nice and place on the plate there. Ooh wee. 
Yes, look at those hash browns. Nice, guys. And they are ready. Nice, hot, crispy. So good. Y'all know I got to take y'all in. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all get a little bite. Look at that. Look at that golden, crispy hash brown crust. Go ahead. Go ahead and get a little bite. I know you want some. Mm. Look at that, guys. So good. Ooh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get a little bite. Yes. Mm. And I like putting a little ketchup on mine, y'all. A little ketchup. It kind of gives them like a little French fry taste. All right, guys, let me go ahead and get this over to the table. Those hash browns over to the table. Already got my eggs over there covered up. We got our hash browns done. I'll get those covered up as well. And let's get the breakfast sausages in. Let's get these guys in. Well, I've got you guys here. Let's get our breakfast sausages thrown in the air fryer. Okay, let me sit you guys down so you can see. Let's get these in the air fryer. Uh, I don't think that's gonna work, so let me do it this way. Cause I gotta hold the camera so you guys can see down in the air fryer. Get these sausages open. So we can get them in the air fryer. And yeah, guys, the air fryer cooks everything all nice and quick for you. That's why that's why you invest in an air fryer. You, in, you invest in the air fryer to use it. Use it as much as you can. And that's what I do. I use my air fryer. I'm going to get my money's worth. Y'all know me. I'm a coupon. I'm a dealer. I like saving my money. Saving my money to put it towards other things for me and my family. So, any way I can save, I'm going to do it. Believe it or not. So, get these sausages open. Okay, so we got all our sausages in there. Let's get them placed. Let me back you guys out of them. So you guys can see how I'm placing them in the air fryer. Because you want everything to be able, you know, to get done evenly. So, I'll rip my aluminum foil there. Oh man. Okay. Whatever. All right, let's get them in here. Get them done. Let's get them organized in here. Everything to get cooked evenly. Should be fine like this. That should be good. We've got all, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got all eight of them cooked in there. Well, placed in there. They're not cooked yet. And you know what, guys? These gonna put them in the air fryer for let's do our old let's keep it at 360 and you know what let's not do 15 minutes I think that's too much let's do 10 minutes let's do 10 come on this thing is so sensitive I'll tell you let's do 10 yep 360 10 minutes See, mine automatically programs itself for 360 temperature. 360 temperature, 15 minutes. So I just changed the time on it. I usually keep it at 360. Depends on what it is. I'll put it at 400. But I cook everything in this air fryer. You guys will see. Quick. Get in and get out, guys. Get in and get out. So we will be back when those sausages get done. Okay guys, we are back and I have the sausages while I have the breakfast sausages in the air fryer cooking. We're going to go ahead and start getting uh, our pancakes fixed. So, my little tricks to cooking pancakes because you know, sometimes it can get a little complicated. But my little trick is, I use the small frying pan. This isn't the big frying pan. This is the little small one. You know, you usually get it in the set. It's the smaller frying pan. That's what I use because this is the size that I want my pancakes. So you know what? It's perfect for cooking pancakes. Perfect. Um, because you know how when you put your pancake mix in, it kind of just swells and goes out and kind of leaks out to different kind of shapes? With this, you get the perfect shape. Just a little trick I learned. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and put in my pancake mix. 
pancake mix in there. And I just use a little spoon. Spatula ready. Okay, let's, let's get it together, pancake. Get it together, and I've already put oil at the bottom of my pan. I already put oil at the bottom. So, definitely want to make sure you do that. I think the mix. And the um, Gotham pans, they're non-stick pans. So, they're perfect for cooking pancakes also. They are non-stick pans. Put the pancake up. Once it starts bubbling across the top, that's your key to get it flipped. There you go. And I always keep my pan oiled. Like I'll spray a little bit on the side there. And I kind of just take my pancake and move it around in the oil so that it gets oiled down there so that your pancake doesn't stick to your pan. So I always do that. You want to keep your pan oiled. Definitely want to keep your pan oiled at all times. A little cute little pancake. Let me see. Let me lift that up. Look underneath. Flip that over. See, pancake looks great. Looks great, guys. Don't take long. Don't take long to eat pancakes. Don't take long at all. Some people smash their pancakes down. I don't really do that. Makes them flatter. So I don't do that. I don't want flat pancakes. Yep, we got pancake number one done. How long did it take us to do that? Let's get this pan empty. Let's get all these crumbs out of your frying pan. Yeah, scrape those crumbs out. You don't want those crumbs. You don't want those crumbs, guys. And I just use my canola oil and I spray my pan real good. See, get it all nice and oily. mix in there oh it's getting a little brown but that's fine just gonna help your pancake better see I just kind of take the pan and I just kind of manipulate it you know to help it spread around you ain't got to get the perfect circle pancake. It ain't that serious. I mean, you don't want it to be all crazy looking, but... See, this is why I used a little small pan, not the big frying pan. See, you can, you can work better with a smaller pan. See, a lot of times we like to use those big frying pans and... No, 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 no. The trick is use the small one. Yep. Go ahead and get this flip. Looks like it's ready. Okay, come on. Let's get a little oil. Spray oil on the side. Always want your pancakes to be moving. Don't want it to be stuck to your pan. You want to be in control of cooking your pancakes. 
Don't let the pancakes control you. You want to be in control of your pancake. Look at that. Quick pancake cooked in like three minutes. Three minutes. Done, done, done. That little piece out of there. Done, 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 done. I'm gonna spray this side because I'm going to flip it back over. Can I see that? Over. Look at that, guys. Look at that pancake. Nice golden pancake. Our air fryer is going off over there. Look at that pancake, guys. Look at that. Look at that pancake. Look at that. Done. Done, done, done. We are cooking these pancakes. How long is it taking us? Three minutes. I always stir up my mix. Always stir up your uh, pancake mix. Stir it up. And I take my spoon, chop it right in the center. That's gonna be a big one. And once it's in there, I just take my pan and I just kinda see, as you do that, it's shaping it out, flatten it out a little bit for you. See how it's doing that? Giving it that nice shape. You ain't got to shake it all fast. Just shake it a little bit. Look at that. Look at that. Gives you the perfect pancake. Perfect pancake. So all I do is I just wait. Wait a few minutes until it's time to flip it. We have literally just cooked two pancakes in two minutes. Two pancakes in two minutes. Now we're cooking our third one. Don't take long, guys. And now when you're cooking your pancakes, make sure you got your heat up. I'm not saying high heat, but a medium high heat. My, my stove goes from, it's like low, two, four, medium, six, eight, high kind of stove. And um, right now I'm on six, cooking on six. So you see those little bubbles starting to form on top of your pancakes? See those bubbles? Get your spatula under there. Get it under there, flip, flip it quick. Flip it quick, that's the trick, flip it quick. I'm gonna spray this side because I am gonna have to flip this over again. And I'm gonna spray the side of my pan so I can get some oil underneath it. Hey, keep the pan oil at the bottom. That's the trick. See, because pancakes, they stick. If you don't keep your pan oil, they stick and they get all out of shape. They get all out of shape. You can always take the back of your spatula. Kind of, look, manipulate it. Manipulate it into shape. See how I'm doing that? I mean, mine's already has a good shape. Look at that pancake. Look at that. I know y'all want some. I know y'all want some. Look at that. Perfect pancake. I kind of do little, small, little soft pushes across the top. Because you know how sometimes the inside... Uh, pancake mix isn't done so just kind of give it a little soft push you don't want to smash it and make it a flat pancake flat pancakes aren't good they're not fun your other side ooh that's a little golden all right golden brown let's get it out I don't want to burn it ooh that's good that looks really good bam three pancakes three pancakes in three minutes guys we are really getting these pancakes done Tell y'all, I'll be in and out. In and out. In and out. Man, this. See, I'm just taking it. Shaking it around a little bit. Just shaking it so that it can shape. Shape to the bottom of my pan. That's all it's doing. Taking the shape of the bottom of my pan. Look at that. Perfect pancake, perfect. Just shaking it around, and you know what? Just put it down. It's already the little shape you want. It's the perfect size pancake, the perfect size pancake. And yep, I'm cleaning as I go. I wipe my stove down, I clean as I go. I, mm -mm. I do not like messes. And I'm gonna spray across the top of my pancake. Sometimes I do it that way, cause I'm gonna flip this. And as I see, see those bubbles are starting to pop, 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 pop for them at the top, like I told you guys. 
See, and look, my pancake's moving. That's what you want. You want your pancake, you want to be able to move your pancake. If you can't move your pancake, it's stuck. It's going to be a mess. That's why I keep it oil. Keep your pan oil. So you stay in control. Get your spatula right underneath it. Bam, flip it. Boom, bam, look at that. Spray across the top of that. Look at, perfect pancake, perfect. Look at that, see? This is why you use the little small pan. So you can get the perfect size pancakes every time. Every time. You ain't gotta worry about putting your pancake mix in a big pan and they shape and they just fall all over the pan and make all kind of crazy shapes. Just use your little cute little frying pan. Makes the perfect pancakes for you every time. Every time. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Pancake done. Look at that. Nice fluffy pancake. Yeah, that is hot. Look at that. Perfect pancake. Perfect. We've cooked four pancakes in about four minutes. Four pancakes in about four minutes. Bam, bam, bam. Getting it done and getting out of the kitchen. Getting it done. Putting that right in the middle of our pan. I think I'll probably make one more out of that mix that's left over. Let me wipe my stove off real quick. Yep. I don't like messes. So you guys, I'm just, just shaking my pan a little bit. Picking it up, shaking it a little bit. Shaking it. So your pancake can form that little pancake shape. I told you guys that already. So just so you guys see, that's, that's all I'm doing. Just shaking it a little bit. Just sugar, 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 shaking it a little bit. Give you a perfect pancake every time, guys. All right, I will be back uh, finishing up with those breakfast sausage. Be back, guys. Okay, guys, the timer just went off on our breakfast sausages. And they look great. They look great. Let's see if we need to flip them over. Hot, hot, hot. Yeah, let's flip them over. We'll cook them for like a minute on the other side so they can get brown on the other side here. Yeah. Put them back in. Let's put them back in. Eh. Let's put them back in for about. So they can get brown on the other side? Two minutes. Two minutes. And we'll be back to check on them. And let me show you guys the pancakes. Just got finished whipping the pancakes together. Look at those pancakes, guys. Look at those pancakes. Look at them. Y'all know I'm taking y'all in. Mm. Now that's a thumbnail right there. That is a thumbnail if I never saw one. Look at those pancakes. And look at this, guys. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven pancakes. I cooked them in seven minutes. You guys saw how quick I cooked these pancakes. It took me like a minute just to cook one pancake. Don't take long, guys. In and out. Let's not have ourselves in the kitchen all day. We ain't got time for that. Ooh. We as mothers and fathers, I mean, you know, caretakers, we got so much to do. There's always so much to do, guys. I mean, I believe in giving my kids a good quality meal. I believe in, you know, giving them what they, they deserve, what they need. But um, we ain't got to be in the kitchen all day. I, I can't do it. I'm in the kitchen every day. Maybe one day out of the week, which is Friday when we eat out. But I'm in the kitchen all the time. I'm always in the kitchen doing something. So some days I just don't want to be in the kitchen all day. Well, every day. I don't want to be in the kitchen all day. But in and out, guys. Let's make it quick and easy for ourselves. It's not like I'm just throwing something together. It's not what I'm saying. But that's what we got to do. In and out. Showed you guys how I get in and out of the kitchen. Get it done. So that way I can have more time to spend with the girls. You know, help them with their homework. Talk to them about, you know, stuff they need to talk about. And not only that, time for myself. You know, quality time to myself. So those are the pancakes, guys. Seven pancakes done in seven minutes. Y'all saw how quick I cooked those pancakes. So. Those are the pancakes, guys. And these are huge pancakes. Look at them. They're big pancakes. They're not little mini pancakes. I do make mini corn pancakes sometimes. The girls love those too. So I'm sure you guys will see me make those one day. But look at those pancakes, guys. Look at them. 
Looks like our sausages are done. Those two minutes are up. Let me see. Yeah, that's good enough. We don't want to overcook them. So I'll go ahead and get these out real quick. Let me see. What am I going to use for my sausages? You know what? I'll put them on the same plate as my hash browns. Same plate I got the hash browns on. Let's see. Let's just move our hash browns over. Let's get those moved over. Get those all nice. Scoot it over. Okay, focus. Where'd you go? Come back. to my focus what are we doing camera okay there we are <laughs> back to reality come on now the life of a youtuber I tell you all right let's get our sausages out of here our sausages all laid out all our sausages out look at those guys look at those let's, let's take you guys in for a bite of those sausages wish you guys were here so we'll go ahead and give you a little bite bite of those breakfast sausages see they're nice and brown Ooh -wee. next to those hash browns Ooh, I know that look good I know it does back up back up back up off my breakfast back up off my breakfast now okay so Next thing we need to do, we've got to get the little mini sausage links in here. A little mini little sausage links. We've got 10 of those. Let's go ahead and get those in. And we're going to put those on. Keep it at 365. Let's do 10 minutes like we did the uh, patties. And I will be back, guys. Hey guys, just wanted to come back real quick and give you guys an overview of the breakfast. It is finished. We've got our breakfast sausages all done, our hash browns, our wonderful pancakes, and our eggs, and our bacon. And that is Saturday breakfast. Oh, we gotta have a Miss Butterworth. And that is Saturday breakfast for the girls. And we're gonna sit down and have our morning Saturday breakfast together. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.